They will begin the festivities here for the LA Kings who are on a six game road trip of their own. This is game two of that trip. Mikey Anderson and Drew Doughty have played together for the last couple of years. They're their number one D pair by far. They've been a little leaky lately. Maybe letting him get a break here tonight. And Spence kicks it back into the corner, and this one's turned over inside the Kings line. Back towards the net. Tipped in front by Sherry, and Talbot made the stop there. Kempe, 41 goal score last season. Grunstrom in towards the net, and bounces off of Vasilevsky. Rebound! Oh, just wide by Grunstrom. And he bumped into Vasilevsky in the process. Calvin DeHaan at center, snaps it near side. Sorelli dumps it in. Calvin directs traffic around the boards. Sent back around by Hagel. In goes Sorelli heavily. Back towards the LA net, and there's Matt Roy. Keeping things to the outside. They try to get it to Kopitar on the fly. That one was cut off and held in by Sorelli. Now it's Hagel. Hagel cuts back on Roy. His shot right on. And Talbot makes the stop. And there's no rebound. Now the puck is free. There is Watson. Gets it around to the far side. In front for Paul. He can't get a shot away. Rebound. And it's pushed wide by Kucherov. Centering attempt never got through. And now it's Hagel back up the ice with Sorelli and Asimov. In over the line, Sorelli waits him on his shot, saved by Talbot, and the rebound to the corner. Ah, does his job, lets it down, now Kopitar back to the way for LA. Kopitar drops off, and the Kings trying to set up, here's Doughty, Doughty looks, shoots right on, and Vasilevsky makes the save. Hedman up the boards, gathered by Chernak, Chernak looking for options, keeps it, hangs on, Eric Chernak in front, and it is steered in behind the LA net. Tempe stick check, so is Byfield. Puck is turned over, here comes Nick Paul. Put a lane to the net. Paul in! Oh, and he just tucked it just wide. And the rebound in on Talbot, and he covers up after a great power move. Hegel gets a little help, now he's stripped by Kempe. Kick saved by Vasilevsky. Back pass, picked off and controlled by Sorelli. And Hegel lately... He keeps going over the net. I know he's trying to go for the top shelf, and some of them get who is in his division. Yeah. And and they still play. Comparison. Yeah. And they still play them three more times. There's a long shot tipped, stopped by Vasilevsky. Turns the puck over. There's another lead pass looking for Kucherov. And Gabrikov has stepped up on him. Now it's more, more into the shot, and that caught a piece of the crossbar and goes up and out of play later or been a second later on that play excuse me the puck would have risen right up over top of him and gone into the slot the Sorelli line back out there to start this second period just as they did in the first and Andre Kopitar almost 59 percent this season so far in phase house won that opening draw that was that was really alert there well done and as a result ace him over the side rebound and Tobin had to make another save on Lilleberg Nice job along the wall, and Mikey Aistemont ends up getting a really good scoring chance because of it. Here's Fiala. Fiala bought a little time. Well, it's meat got on side. Gives it up to Moore. Drops it out to Spence. Spence around the net. Send it, send it. They score. A great play by Jordan Spence. Puts it out for Philip Deneau, and it's 1-0 Kings but they make this one count. They get some good motion and a line chain. Top of your screen. See, Philip Deneau is fresh. He comes right off the right off the bench. And they're able to move the puck around the outside and get it into the middle. Excuse me, it was Spence that came out. And he gets it to Deneau. It looks like everybody's covered, and there's bodies in front for the Lightning as Spence is going around. Nick Paul is looking at the puck, but they don't tie up. And that... Pass attempt back to the point. It's picked off by Moore. Moore's got an assist to the goal. Here's Fiala. Slap pass across. Finds the moving target. Roy scores! Kevin Fiala to Matt Roy, and he did not miss. And it is 2-0 L.A. He goes to the bench afterwards. He tries to force it back to the point. It's a smart read by Moore. Now Kucherov is changing, so it's now a five-on-four quick attack here by Los Angeles. So that means Roy is well aware that he's able to move in from the point. Top right of your screen, you can see part of the line change there for the Lightning. Doesn't get there in time. It allows the defenseman to come in from the 
point, makes a nice move into the middle, and an even better shot. That one looked like it went over the They play in straight lines. They've had solid goaltending, just like in this game, and they're up two zip. Face off win, pulled back to Dehaan. Dehaan in the corner. Try to center it out in front. Tomlin is down, and he has got it. And Asimov certainly isn't either. And the Lightning are thinking, hey, we had a chance. This puck looked like it was loose. Sorelli took a whack at it. Asimov comes in, and Sorelli starts celebrating because he thinks it's in. It was, in fact, in, but the whistle had already gone. There goes the goaltender. He sits on it, but is it is it free? It is. Look at Sorelli. Sorelli's looking right down between his pads, and for Sorelli's mind, that he interfered with them and pulled them down, and this is going to be close. They have a decent argument here. Watch here at the very end. Watch how the skate catches on the pad and pulls his pad away. Now, he also has to sit down on purpose because now the puck is there. So, Sir, if you're willing to play, there was goaltender interference, therefore the call yes is overturned. We have no goal. Oh the Lightning have scored the second most power play goals this season in the NHL. The LA Kings have allowed the fewest power play goals against. So back and forth with Sorelli up top to Hedman. Need a shot here. There's one. Why? Rebound in front. Point of the shot. Saved by Talbot to the rebound. Clear. And the Kings step out again. Laferriere is checked and turns the puck over. Back the other way. They come. Centering pass across. They score! A centering pass. Knocked in and the Lightning go on the board. Tyler Mott makes it 2-1. Check in the neutral zone, right there, top of your screen. He's the one that turns the play around. So, fittingly, he should be the recipient of a really good pass and hard work by Asamont. Asamont always keeps the feet moving, and he's good at protecting the puck, then he puts it into the scoring area. Mott's timing is great, the shot is even better, and now they're finally within one. Third goal of the season for Tyler Mott. I think he's been very visible tonight. Here's Mott. The goal score in this period for the Lightning. Horvitz with a headman pass up to Hagel. Hagel cuts in, stands with it, scores! Brandon Hagel has tied the game! What a great set of hands by Brandon Hagel. And he had to fight his way with the puck through traffic. How about that little move? That was simply outstanding. Spinning around. Grunstrom will come across on him and thinks he's got him. Yeah, I got this puck. That is a beautiful little move at high speed while he's spinning from forwards to backwards, controlling it. Nobody knocks him down. And he finds a way. He just wills this one into the back of the net after a nice little pirouette in the slot. It's 2-2. After Cam Talbot gave it up. Now the Kings come back across the line with numbers. It is a shot. Oh, there's a hard post and a hard snapshot there by Lewis. But on this last shift, end-to-end -end action, a couple of good chances, and that one clanked. It's a really, and it's knocked away from him as well. So this has turned into a pretty good game. You want some more, Brian? Yes, absolutely. Well, we're going to get it. Past regulation, they won their last one in a shootout at Washington. Kempe and Kopitar start with the Kings, and the Lightning start with a puck. Remember, that was such a problem for them to start the season, but they got it now. Works it into the corner. He's bear hugged there by Dubois. Hegel, great work. Is it a permit? Permit! He's in! Brandon Hagel does a heck of a job here. He comes back on the back check, and then look at him, just a foot race with Spence. But he stops and keeps it under control, and keeps spinning around and keeps it under some kind of control when he's being two on one. That allows Perbix to make a move and get a little inside position. And then Perbix does a heck of a job. Protect the puck. Anticipate the side swipe by Trevor Moore. Stays away from it. Forehand, backhand. Game winner.
And once again, Brandon Hagel in on the overtime goal. He's been in on all three they've gotten this season. And what a moment for Nick Permix. And what a rally for the Tampa Bay Lightning tonight.